Hi guys! Welcome to my channel! So before we get started make sure to hit that like button also subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will talk about Cryptocurrency Millionaires Still possible to get rich with crypto So make sure to watch the full video Buy the Solos If you're a believer in the long-term viability of cryptocurrency, you should treat your portfolio like a portfolio of stocks. In other words, when there's a significant dip in the crypto market, which happens quite regularly, that is your opportunity to scoop up additional coins or tokens. If you select cryptos that prove to be long-term winners, adding to your investment when prices are low can be a great way to build wealth. Stick to cryptos that serve a purpose. There are literally thousands of cryptocurrencies you can trade, but many, if not most, of these won't ever amount to anything. Although you may get lucky and make money trading any crypto, if you're looking to build long-term wealth, you'll have to invest in cryptos that have staying power. Read the white papers on any cryptos you plan to invest in to see how they are tied to the blockchain, what their utility is and how they are better slash cheaper slash faster than any of their competitors. This is the best way to filter out the long-term winners from the losers. Diversify your holdings. By their very nature, cryptocurrencies are speculative investments. If you risk your whole portfolio on a single crypto, your risk increases exponentially. Just as you should with a stock portfolio, diversify your crypto holdings among the handful that you have researched that have long-term viability. This should increase your chances of finding long-term winners and minimize your risk of blowing up your entire portfolio. Day Trade If you're looking for the highest risk slash reward option when trying to get rich via cryptocurrency, consider day trading. Cryptocurrency is so volatile that in the course of even a single day, you can often earn significant sums. Just realize that it's also highly likely that you'll lose a significant amount of your investment. Stocks are considerably less volatile than cryptocurrency. Yet most amateur day traders end up losing money. As crypto is even more unpredictable, the same fate awaits most crypto day traders. But if you have insight as to the trading patterns of the particular crypto, you may be able to have enough of an edge to make some gains, become a miner. If you're looking to earn your way to riches in the crypto space, rather than speculating directly in the market, one option is to become a miner. Crypto miners are rewarded with coins by validating transactions on the blockchain. To do so, they must solve extremely complicated mathematical equations, which requires extensive computing power. These days, most mining is done by companies with vast server farms processing equations 24-7, making it hard for an individual miner to compete. But one way to participate is by investing in a mining pool, in which a large group of investors pour their money into a vast mining operation, which has more chance at succeeding. Just remember, there are no guarantees in the mining space either. Take advantage of forks and airdrops. Forks and airdrops may not make you rich overnight, but they're a great way to accumulate excess cryptocurrency, which can help you build long-term wealth. Airdrops are essentially promotions of new cryptocurrencies that developers release to spread awareness and recognition. Forks occur when an existing cryptocurrency changes or upgrades its protocol, which typically grants existing holders free coins on the new or updated network. You're interested in getting into crypto, and want to turn Bitcoin into cash. You've heard all of the success stories, people making millions of dollars by getting in early and selling when the prices are high. Or perhaps you have friends who make a steady income by mining cryptocurrency. Everyone gets into the cryptocurrency field to make money, but not all end up doing that. A lot of people either simply give up along the way or lose money because they do not properly understand how to make money with cryptocurrency. The cryptocurrency industry is still in its early stages of development. As the crypto assets increase in price, more people come into the industry. These newcomers are always trying to figure out how to make money from cryptocurrency. The good news is there are many ways of making money with cryptocurrency. Since 2011, there has been consistent growth in developer activity, social media activity, and the number of startups created in the cryptocurrency industry. Here we take a closer look at how to make money with cryptocurrency. Can you make money with cryptocurrency? Yes, you can make money with cryptocurrency. 
given the inherent volatility of crypto assets. Most involve a high degree of risk while others require domain knowledge or expertise. Trading cryptocurrencies is one of the answers to how to make money with cryptocurrency. Although the daily average volume of cryptocurrency trades is just 1% of the foreign exchange market, there is a lot of volatility in the crypto market. So there is the potential to do short-term trades. Even though the crypto market is relatively small at the moment, there is great growth potential. In addition to some of the more well-known cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Amp, Dogecoin, Ilan Gate, IOTA, Mushot, Polygon, SafeMoon, Stellar, Tether, Vitho, Shiba Anu. Likewise, there are a host of crypto buying platforms like Binance, Coinbase, and Robinhood. So you have plenty of options when it comes to making money with crypto. Essentially, there are quite a few methods for you to make legitimate money with cryptocurrencies, other than the obvious way of trading. Let's take a look at six strategies for how to make money with cryptocurrency. Six strategies for making money with crypto. If you are wondering how to earn money with cryptocurrency, look no further. Strategies for making money with crypto rely on three mechanisms. Firstly, you can invest or trade in the crypto exchange market. You can do this without owning any crypto yourself, like investing in gold on the stock market. Secondly, you can use the coin you already own to stake and lend coins to the system or other users. Thirdly, you can participate in the blockchain system by mining or receiving coin rewards for work done in the system. If you get lucky with your crypto investment, you can make a fortune, even if you haven't invested a lot, and even if you've only owned the assets a short time. The reason this is possible with cryptocurrencies is that they can be very volatile. It's possible that a particular coin will capture the attention of the right celebrity or will catch on as a social media sensation, and its price will rise quickly and dramatically. Since the prices of cryptocurrencies are speculative, and since virtual coins are a newer and less time-tested asset class that appeals to investors willing to take on more risk, it's more likely that crypto investments will see rapid, and often unjustified, price increases compared to assets that attract more cautious investors. The catch, however, is that you need to pick the right coin and buy at the right time to get rich through your investment. And it's really difficult to do that. Often the factors that drive up the price of a coin are completely unpredictable. People aren't necessarily attracted to a cryptocurrency for investment because of the technology behind it or its adoption among merchants as a real-world currency. If you hope to make a profit through investing, it's best to follow a time-tested approach. Regularly buy assets with a proven track record, such as an S&P 500 index, fund that tracks the performance of around 500 or so of the largest U.S. companies. You might include some cryptocurrencies in your portfolio if you believe that they have potential for growth. But you want them to be part of a diversified portfolio so you can maximize the chance of earning generous returns and reduce the risk of outsized losses. You'll also want to research virtual currencies carefully to buy them for the right reasons and be comfortable holding them for a long time. This maximizes the chance that your investment pays off in the long run and helps you build wealth over time. Crypto is indeed encroaching on his life and into its physical spaces too. When you walk into Giulio's home, in a pretty residential neighborhood of Rome known for its inventory of earthy, homespun restaurants, he will show off a strange new gizmo sitting on his windowsill. A gleaming white tubular thing resembling an upturned funnel, it looks like a deranged bionic sex toy. But it is in actual fact a helium bobcat miner, a device that generates around year 150 a month in the cryptocurrency helium. No questions asked. And no questions have been asked. As with much about crypto, Giulio, whose surname we have omitted at his request, because he fears for his job if his employer learns he trades shitcoins, has basically no idea how the thing works. He regards it with a kind of odd bewilderment, as though it is simply magic. You should get one. He urged me recently and somewhat salaciously. Helium, when you look it up, is some kind of decentralized people's network accruing token rewards to users who, like Giulio, keep nodes running in their homes. Ten years ago, Sandra Rowe was working in finance in London 
when some currency trading friends told her about Bitcoin. The cryptocurrency had been released only a couple of years previously and was still far from a global phenomenon. Bitcoin was only really known in geeky tech circles, and eventually currency traders in London found out about it around 2010, says Roe. She invested in the cryptocurrency, made a substantial fortune, and is now chief executive of the Global Blockchain Business Council, a Swiss nonprofit organization that promotes the technology behind cryptocurrencies. With a background in markets at global banks, such as Deutsche Bank and Morgan Stanley, Roe was quick to grasp blockchain's revolutionary potential. What really piqued my interest was whether the tech could disintermediate financial markets. I thought, what the heck, she recalls. Bitcoin was trading at a couple of hundred bucks at the time, and I bought a bunch thinking, what if it works? And guess what? It did. Today, Bitcoin and its digital peers are becoming mainstream. The hype reached new heights this year after the cryptocurrency gained 600% in value in 12 months. The mania has swept up not only retail investors, but also very wealthy people. Ultra-high net worth individuals, UNWES, people with assets of $30M or more, such as Paul Tudor or Stanley Druckenmiller, were among the earliest backers of Bitcoin, the biggest cryptocurrency, and are prominent in the market today. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are also gaining traction as a store of value for financial institutions. Banks are queuing up to compete. Goldman Sachs is trading cryptocurrencies while Citigroup Group is considering providing trading, custody, and financing services. Millionaire investors openly discuss their cryptocurrency-related investments. While some large publicly listed companies, such as software company MicroStrategy, hold billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin on their balance sheets, neither the sharp sell-off that hit cryptocurrencies last month nor the surrounding turmoil should obscure the fact that these are now huge markets, with a combined value of $1.60N. That is big enough as an investment pool for even the richest private investors and largest family offices. But Bitcoin still divides opinion. For some, it is an obsession. For others, a speculative bubble. Yet financial industry analysts say that few people really understand how it works. To make life more complicated, it has spawned scores of other cryptocurrencies all based on complex computer-driven calculations, but with different levels of liquidity and transparency. We have seen UNWA individuals and family offices looking into cryptocurrencies and becoming interested in allocating some portion of their investments into crypto, says Calvin Ku, a Hong Kong-based lawyer at Cover & Kim. But it's important to make sure investors don't inadvertently step into a minefield, pose. Or, let's be honest, give me shit. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go. Thank you for watching.